I'm going to show you how you can set up the mini extensions portal for Airtable. So the goal of the portal is to allow you to share records with your users who do not have access to Airtable and only allow them to see records that are relevant to them. So let me show you what I mean here. Well, I've got a furniture table and what I want to do is I want to share my furniture with my vendors. And I only want my vendors to see the records that are related to them. So for example, if my box, uh, if my vendor box logs into my portal, I want them to be able to see this record, this record, this record, et cetera, but not the records that they're not linked to. And now if, if your setup is not like this, so to use the mini extensions portal, you need to have a setup where there is a linked record field and this linked record, each record in it represents a user. If that's not your setup, check out our other extension. It's called search page. That extension is specifically made to work similar to the portal without having to have linked records. But if you do have linked records, you're in the right place. So let's go ahead and try out the demo. So we got two variations of the portal. We got the grid view and the card view. Let's try out both. Let's start with the grid. First thing you'll notice here is that there's a login page. You get to customize this image. You get to customize a subtitle and a title. And then you also get to choose a couple of fields for the login. Now, where are those fields coming from? Those fields are coming from my vendors table. And the idea is essentially like the vendor would come in here and they would have to type their information and we check that that information matches the information in Airtable and if it matches, they can log in. And um, you can have, you know, for, for, for this area here, you can have one field, you can have multiple fields, it's up to you. In our case, we went to, with two fields, name and pin. So let's go ahead and log in now. I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Okay, so first thing you'll notice here is there's a grid. Um, the grid has full support for all of the Airtable field types. You also get to choose which uh, fields are visible to the user. So for example, if I wanted my user not to be able to see my images, I could have totally hidden that from the portal. You get to customize a header um, up there. You get to be able to, users can expand records to see the full information. Um, optionally, you can also allow users to edit records. Now, if you allow them to edit records, you get to choose which fields show up in the form. So you can have a different set of the uh, fields in the form than what's shown out there. And if you if the user makes a change, it happens instantly. You see it just change there. Um, and, and then some of the fields that we've got here have inline editing uh, uh, enabled for them. So check out the demos to see which ones have the inline editing. So um, last optional feature here is this add button. And again, this is also optional. Um, if you enable it, the user will be able to add a new record to your table. Now, the cool thing is because I'm logged in as box, the, 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 uh, the record that I'm about to add is actually going to be automatically linked to box. So, so let's say, check out my new record. Cool. And let's just add that record. Now, um, it should be, okay. So it's right here. So you see it automatically got added to that portal. And if I scroll here in my furniture table, you'll see it here at the bottom and you'll, you'll notice that it got automatically linked to box. So yeah, we're logged in. We automatically link it so that the user who's logged in owns those records that are created. Okay. Now let's go ahead and check out the cards demo. So the cards demo again, same exact thing for that login page, nothing different here. The main difference really between the two portals is the ability to show the records as rows in a grid versus cards. Um, in the cards portal, uh, you'll be able to also set up a little cover image for the cards and a little title. Um, again, editing, totally optional, follows the exact same rules we discussed earlier, um, has uh, updates instantly when you save. Um, you can choose the fields in the, in the editing form. Optional adding feature also automatically links the record. So more or less the same features with the major difference being that the records are represented in the uh, interface differently. Cool. So now let's go through how we would set up the extension. Um, I'm going to set up the cards version, but the setup for the cards and the grid version is exactly the same. So if you're on the grid version, just follow the steps I'm about to follow here. You'll want to start by grabbing your user API key, follow this URL to find it. After that, select your base and then select your table. So in my case, that table is the furniture table. Next thing here is the login page. So for the login page, I'll need to choose the user's linked records field. This is um, the field that you've been looking at all that whole time, the vendors field. 
So the, the field that links my furniture table to my users table. So the vendors in this case are my users. So um, I'll choose that vendor field and then I'll choose the lookup field. Those are the fields that you saw in the login page. So it would be this field and this field. So let's go ahead and choose those. And again, feel free to choose one or more, totally up to you. Next here is the view record section. In this section, I get to choose which, um, which fields will be visible to my users. So remember how I said you can hide fields from your grid, you can hide fields from your cards. Yeah, here's where you would do it. So if you don't want to show your user a particular field, just don't add it. Um, in my case, I just, you know, um, I just added a couple here and yeah, let's move on. So the last section here is editing and adding records. Again, totally optional. Feel free to check off both. In my case, I'm going to keep both on and I'll just go ahead and add a couple of fields here to my form. That's the form that you looked at earlier for adding and editing. And yeah, let's go ahead and save. Let's try out the portal. So that same login page from earlier, I didn't customize a header or anything, but you can do that as well. Okay, there you go. So those are the records that are linked to box. Um, everything is like you, you saw earlier in the portal. Now the portal has so many more features. Um, I encourage you to look over here in the feature section and the advanced feature section. It, as a matter of fact, let's just go through a quick demo here to show you what I mean. I'm not gonna go through the details of how these things works, but um, I, I wanna just show you the power that could be achieved with this portal. So in this portal, for example, I've set up the portal so that my user box can come in, see their records, and they can actually remove themselves from records, right? So with a click of a button, remove themselves. We've got, you know, a, a search bar here. We've got that tab bar. Um, the tab bar allows uh, my user box to see records that they're not linked to. So you know how earlier only the records they're linked to. Just a lot more functionality and um, filtering, etc. So feel free to check out that section to learn more about the portal.